Jamboard happens to be one of my favorite tools right now. And I want to talk a little bit about how it's integrating with Google Classroom. And this is for a collaborative grouping type scenario. And so what you can do is you can set up your Jamboards and you can set up collaborative groups very quickly using Google Classroom. And instead of making a bunch of copies and setting up permissions and, and dealing with all that and attaching separate, uh, there's such a fast way. I'm going to show you how to fly through this. So first thing I need to do is set up a template. Um, and to do that, you know what? I'm going to use the Android version. I get it from the Google Play Store. Um, not all school districts have this enabled, but I like the Android version because it has a lot more options. So I'm going to start with an Android uh, jam here. I'm going to hit new jam, start a new one. And I'm not going to do a lot with it, but what I do like about the Android version is you can actually add multiple pages, whereas in the uh, web version, you can't add multiple pages, but you can go to multiple pages. So really the Android version is much more robust. And not only that, but it has a lot more tools, it has a ton of tools like Google Drive and a web search and inserting images and all kinds of fun stuff. And even like text recognition, it's kind of crazy what all it can do. So I'm not going to do all of this stuff, but what I am going to do is just set up a question so that way I can uh, demonstrate exactly how this works. So bear with me for a moment. I'm going to speed through this. Okay, I have my template ready and I'm going to have members of my technology team do this portion. And so I'm ready to go. I've done this in the Jamboard app. I'm going to go back to um, the web version and you'll see when I refresh this that my template will appear here and it says Untitled Jam. Actually, let me go ahead and rename that. I'll just call it Technology Fan just for fun. Okay, so now I have this template set up and here's what's awesome is that I can add this in Google Classroom and create quick collaborative groups. And then I'll show you how quickly I can access all of these through the web version instead of opening each one separately. So what I'm going to do is go to Classwork, create an assignment. And so let's go create and let's do assignment. And since this isn't really an assignment, I am just keeping this ungraded. And then after I ungrade it, I will set a due date. This isn't super necessary, but when you're dealing with students, it is. When you're dealing with actual students, it's nice to have a due date. And then the next thing I'm going to do is set a topic. And I'm going to create a topic here like so. So that way they're all in one place. And then I'm going to attach it from Google Drive. And so my Jamboard actually appears right here. And so I will add it. And I'm going to make it that students can edit. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually not assign it yet. The reason I don't want to assign it is because I'm just going to save this as a draft. The reason I'm going to not assign it is because I want to create three different groups. And so the next thing I'm going to do is utilize Google Classroom to hack this capability of making multiple copies and assignments much quicker. So I will hit create and I'm going to reuse the post. I see my Jamboard technology fun assignment right here. I'm in the correct classroom. This is the classroom I'm in. And I'm going to keep this button right here, create new copies of all attachment, reuse. When I do that, I'm going to select my students. So we'll just do the first few here. One, two, three, four, just for fun. And I'm going to make it that they can edit and I will assign. I probably should have renamed that group actually. That's okay. I can do that again. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, reuse post. sign and now I am done. So now with this collaborative group, what I'm able to do is I'm able to see all that they're doing in these Jamboards and I'll come back and visit it another time. 
but let me find my Jamboard group here and, and here's my draft. I don't need my draft anymore. I can actually delete the draft. It doesn't affect it. That's just my template, but it automatically made all these copies for me and I can open each one and see what's going on in each class. There's one and I'm going to just use the Chrome version for viewing because in the Android version, you can only view one at a time, but in the web version, I can have multiple tabs open and view each one and keep track of what's going on in each group while I'm working with groups of students. So this allows me to manage the class much better. So here I have one, two, three, three different groups. And as students are in it and working, they will be able to access it. So no one's in them yet, but as you can see, they will be able to get to the separate pages and try them out. And I automatically was able to make these copies of these jam boards very quickly and I didn't have to do a ton of work with making multiple copies myself. So that's my little Google Classroom hack and how it's working with Jamboard. I love the updates that Google is doing with Jamboard and I think this provides some really awesome collaborative opportunities for students and teachers.